I'm Carlotta Waldman and I want to welcome you back to Now Faith TV. It's my pleasure to give you a prophetic word tonight. So many have had things to say about this year, about whether it's going to be all doom, others say it's going to be all prosperity and harvest time. I believe that God is giving us a word tonight so that we will know how to get from here to there, what's left to be done this year, what we'll be accountable for, what to take care of, and what will happen as we come into a complete agreement with God. I wasn't even aware of prophetic words until 1993, and I began to go to prophetic training. Then I went to ministry training school. Then I heard the Lord saying, you're going to be teaching prophetic training. You're going to teach ministry training school. And we created NowFaith.tv in 2006. Now we've got over four years of training online. But the big question tonight is, how do we get from here to there? And I hear the Lord saying that this is a year to settle personal issues. This is a year to settle your issues with me. Some of you have still got rifts with me about my original choices for you and about choices that you think I might want to make. Some of you have worth problems. You don't know that your worth is based on what Jesus Christ did for you. You're still performance-based and thinking it's based on what you do for me. But the Lord says your security must be in what I have done, can do, and will do through you. Your identity must be based on my opinion, not what other people say. I want you to release people who have said things over you, word curses over you, have limited you, who don't believe in you. Release those people from meeting your needs. Release them from giving you direction and learn to hear me, hear my voice. The Lord says the secret to your success this year, this year and every year, will be complete dependence on me. What's new? Well, the Lord says some of you still need to tear down personal strongholds of doubts and worries and fears. Some of you are not yet basing your identity on what my, I say, my truth, and you need restoration and you need healing. And I'm making that opportunity available to you. I'm connecting you with people that will offer you restoration prayer ministry, that will offer you healing, body, soul, and spirit. And this is your portion because my son has died to pay the price. I've called you to live in resurrection power, but you've got to tear down the personal strongholds. Some of you, it's still unforgiveness. Others, you're living in rejection or fear of rejection. Others, you don't feel loved. You're not sure that I love you. Others, it's fears, doubts, and worries, or you're <laughs> jealous of others and what I'm doing in their life, and you don't understand it's a one-on-one -on -one relationship. Being jealous of others doesn't help. But the Lord says, I'm bringing you that restoration and healing, and be alert, be alert to connect with those who are offering you Restoration Prayer Ministry, take the time to do it. It will have everything to do with your success this year. I want to bring the rewards back that you have lost, says the Lord. I want to bring the blessings that you have lost. I want to restore the years that you have lost. I need you to come into complete alignment with me to make a, yourself available to that prophetic input from other people that can tell you where you're not in agreement with me so that you won't miss the great harvest and blessing I have for you this year. Read Transformation of the Inner Man. Let people who've been down the road that you want to go help you. Receive Restoration Prayer Ministry. Tear down the strongholds and commit to at least an hour or two a week of letting me transform you Attend Now Faith TV, online, anywhere, anytime, with anybody. But the Lord says, make that commitment this year. Because if you are called to be my follower, that means you're going to have to go to boot camp. My son gave you the example of how I minister, how I build people, how I build a ministry and a outreach. He showed you my priorities of loving people, not building ministries, not building churches, but loving people first. And the Lord says, I'm calling you, I'm calling you, I'm calling you to be reproducers of reproducers. 
I'm calling you to multiply. That great commission is for you to reach and teach all nations, making disciples. You don't need a special invitation. This is it. I'm wanting to impart to you my vision for multiplication, the Lord says. It hasn't changed. Don't give up. Don't think it's too late. I am calling you, calling you to be multipliers, to sow seed, to go down the street and love on people like I did. I'm calling you to receive my vision, to make disciples in all nations, to be a demonstration of my love and power. Amen. I'm calling you to do hands-on ministry and teach others how to do it. I'm calling you to let me confirm your word, which would be my word, which would be lifting up Jesus Christ with signs and miracles. I'm calling you. Yes, you're called. Yes, you're called. You need to take the lid off what you think I can do through you. It's me doing it through you. So it's not about your abilities and your talents, your knowledge and experience. Take the cap off what you think I will provide, the connections I will give, the opportunities, the sphere of influence that I'll give you. The Lord says you are limiting yourself, but you're also limiting the Holy Spirit. I want a people in this Great Commission army who will say, yes, sir. You know, when you join the boot camp, the Lord says, you don't just say, okay, you say, yes, sir. You don't even just say, yes. Is that right? You say, yes, sir, to everything. I want to send you out two by two. I'm going to be connecting you with someone that you can pray with, that you can grow with, that will make this commitment with you. Believe me for it. Believe me for it. The Lord says, I'm calling people who will pay the price to be a prophetic people that will pay the price to be this new leadership that I'm raising up. I am raising up new leadership this year who will be totally committed to sharing my love and truth in power. I'm calling those who will pursue me, not everything else. I'm calling those who will pursue love, not just my power. I'm calling those who will speak the truth no matter what. Amen? There's a price to pay to be a prophetic people. I'm calling those of you who are willing to lead from the heart. Your heart that's one with my heart. I'm calling those who will love the world. For God so loved the world. Amen? I'm calling those who are willing to serve. And not just serve the leadership. But serve those who need it. Who will serve many. But also who are willing to be trained to train the few. And I'm calling those of you to build character. Build the character first. This is what will make or break you. I'm calling those that are committed to honesty, that are committed to respect for me, for others, for elders, for themselves. I'm calling those who will walk in humility. My son was an awesome example for you of walking in humility, only doing what the Father says to do, only doing what I show them, I give you pictures, I give you visions, only saying what the Father says to say, amen? But also, some of you might be saying, oh, well, yeah, I'm trying to do all the positive. It seems like I've got a Hosea anointing, and that's part of it this year, too. I'm calling you to love the unfaithful and to demonstrate that love to them. I'm calling you to love those who are compromising, and it has annoyed you, and it has bothered you, and you have wondered how they can live a, such a hypocritical life. I'm calling you to love them and to set that example. I'm calling you to love the people that have mocked you or will mock you, even for associating with the people that need ministry and need salvation, that need restoration. I'm calling you to love the people that will betray you, betray me, who will accuse you falsely, because these are your awesome opportunities to demonstrate my love, to demonstrate forgiveness, to demonstrate my calling on your life and my power to live the Christian life. Because you will have to give up some of your rights, what you have perceived as your rights, and it will be a lifestyle. 
I'm calling you to be that consistent witness of the fruit of the Spirit. I'm calling you to never lose hope in others. Love believes all things and hopes all things and never fails. It's a new standard this year for a new harvest, for a new leadership. I'm calling you to be true to others, true to me, but true to my values. Be true to them. Don't turn your back on them. Don't X them off the list. I'm calling you to stand up in love even when it hurts. The Lord says I'm looking for new leaders. I'm looking for people that will meet my qualifications. I'm calling you into a boot camp and it will feel like it. It will feel like training. And some of you will say, well, I didn't really enlist for this. Or maybe you want to. Others said, oh, I want to be that sergeant that straightens everybody out. But the Lord says, if you want to attend officer training school, so to speak, you're going to have to meet some qualifications. I've given you those in Paul's book to Timothy. It's like a manual for you. The Lord says, I'm calling people who aren't afraid of the warfare. Some of you only want to share the love. You don't want to share in the warfare. You don't know how to conduct yourself in a worthy way when it's difficult, when you're under attack, when there's battles. And the Lord says, I'm calling you to be good stewards of what I have given you and deposited in you over the years. I am calling you to be good stewards of the gifts and the talents that I have given you, the sphere of influence that I've given you. I'm calling you to minister to people without uh, prejudice and without judgmental attitudes. Anyone can judge and criticize and complain. I'm calling you to rise up in a new discernment. A new discernment that will know my plan for that person. That will speak to their, uh, their potential. Not just talk about their past. I'm talking you to flex. I'm calling you to flex with the Holy Spirit. Amen. I want to do new things through you. I'm the creator. I want to do new things through you. And I want you to say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want you to learn how to make disciples of all nations. How to be a good disciple. How to make disciples. To receive my vision. Some of you have yet to receive it in your entire Christian life. This is the year. I want you to... The Lord says, I'm not calling you to do what I used to do. What I might do. Or to say, what would Jesus do? I'm calling you to let me do it through you. And the Lord says, I am giving you that seed to give. I'm giving you seed to invest. I'm giving you seed to multiply and seed to put aside for the times to come. I'm giving you that leadership ability so that you can train others. But also I'm calling you to be team members in a new way and to demonstrate that humility. I'm calling you to defer to others. I'm calling you to give credit to others when it's due, not to be a glory hog. I'm calling you to that humility that would never touch my glory, amen? I'm calling you to be faithful, available, and teachable. Faithful, available, and teach you, teachable where I have placed you. The Lord says, I want to tell you now how to get from here to there. So how do we enjoy that harvest this year? How do we be that person that God's calling into new places of leadership? I'll tell you. We need to start where we are. The Lord says, I'm calling you to build on the foundation that I've laid in you. I've made many deposits in you. I've been preparing you. I'm associating you with people that can help you. Many of you I'm calling to begin a new small group of discipleship. I want you to do it the way I showed you, the way Jesus did it. The Lord says, Jesus didn't have a mega church, a great ministry. He didn't even have a video. Jesus started with a small group. He emphasized uh, the 12. He spent more time with them. He spent time with the multitudes. And he had outreaches. And he had demonstrations. He had instruction demonstrations. But the Lord says, I'm calling you to pray and get my vision. Take it seriously. I'm giving you a new vision for this year. 
how to reach out in new ways, a way to make disciples. I'm going to show you the people to select that I want you to mentor, the people that I want you to introduce to this vision. I want you to meet with them and have a meeting where you impart that vision to them where they understand what multiplication is and the Great Commission, the Lord says, I'm calling you to commit to a weekly meeting of mentoring people. The Lord says, I'm giving you that vision so that you can give it to others. It's the Holy Spirit giving it through you, imparting it through you to commit to that weekly meeting to encourage them to order the books or to join Now Faith TV or to print the handouts that we have online. We've provided everything that you need. The Lord says, I'm calling you to be that person that will help other people know where the resources are, how to watch the videos or listen to the audios anywhere in the world if they have internet or phone access. I'm calling you to discuss these insights with people and help them understand, give them the help they need, to actually separate them into two-by-two two partners and pray together and to learn how to pray for each other. So that they will be doing the stuff that I've called you to do. The Lord says, I'm calling you to apply it. Apply it. Apply it. Not just teach it. Not just give the instructions. Not just demonstrate it but have small groups where you will apply what I've taught you. The Lord says, I want you to invest in each one. Invest in them. Help them to understand my love and how making those deposits, I brought people alongside. The Lord says, I want you to train them to mentor others also. You do that by teaching, yes, but by training, by instructing, by demonstrating, <laughs> and letting them activate the Lord says activation is going to be a big word for you this year. Are you a leader? If so, is anyone following you? If not, you're just taking a walk. This is the time. Even if you've been in leadership for many years, the Lord says, are you winning souls to Christ and making disciples? This is the model I have given you to make disciples. Make a firm foundation. And the Lord says that I'm calling you out to do it, and I'm going to be calling you to send them out. Two by two, nothing's changed. And as I um, heard this word for myself in 93, I received Restoration Prayer Ministry. I started going to training groups. I started hearing the Lord say me, to me, yes, you will be doing this also. And then I began to start my own groups. And the Lord says, you don't have to be a church leader. You don't have to have a pulpit. You don't have to have a building. I am the Lord God. I am calling you, giving you the great commission to make disciples. So this is a harvest time, and people will know you by your fruit. You'll know yourself by your fruit. Are you training others? Are you willing to commit to training yourself? Are you demonstrating my power? Are you using the power that I've given you? To declare and to decree my will and my word and see the invisible manifest in the visible. The Lord says, you're not waiting on me. I'm waiting on you. I've given you that power to heal. You have healing in your hands. I am Christ, the fullness of the gospel, fullness of the Godhead, fullness of strength and power and everything that you need inside you. Look at your hands. The Lord says, I'm calling you to set the captives free. To do healing and deliverance. If you study my word, you'll see that I did healing and deliverance together most of the time. If you have issues with that, study the word and get over it. The Lord says, I'm calling you to know how to swing the sword of the Spirit and walk in victory. Many of you are using your own words, your own arguments, <laughs> your own knowledge, your own ability to discuss analyze, and it's not working, right? I have called you to be that person that would swing the sword of the Spirit. Swing the sword of the Spirit. To discern the faults. Many will rise up and say that they're the new leadership. Discern the faults. I'm calling you to discern whether a person's really walking in purity or not. Really walking in that holiness. Are they really walking 
in the way that you would want to follow. Are you following them out of habit because your grandma and your grandpa did? Are you following because it's the biggest around? Or are you making yourself available to be taught and trained, whether it's in person, whether it's local, or whether it's online? I'm calling you. You can receive Restoration Prayer Ministry by phone, by Skype. You can be trained online at Now Faith TV. You can read articles on our mother site, Crosswalk Life. You do not have to stay the way you are. And the Lord says, I am calling you. I am calling you to let me transform you. Let me change you. Let me give you that ability to have the influence on the people around you. That they will say, I have been in the presence of the Lord. Amen. That they will say, I want to know God. I want to know God like He does or like she does. I'm calling you to have that boldness of knowing that you have heard from me every day. You know my will. You know what the Father is saying. You know what the Father is doing. And you have that certainty and clarity that you've always wanted to have. This is what it takes to have that harvest. This is what it takes. You have to be in the boot camp saying, yes, sir. You have to rise up early at Reveille. You have to hear my voice. You have to attend the seminars online or in person if you've got them in person. But learn. You have to be trained. The Lord says, I'm calling you into a new area of relationship beyond what you've had. A new intimacy with me. More interaction with me. No more one-sided praying, guessing what I want to pray through you. Hear my voice. Know what I want to pray through you. And let me do it. The Lord says, I'm calling you to new areas of influence where people will want to hear from you because you've got something to say because you've heard my voice. I'm calling you to spend hours with me so that you only need minutes with men. I said, I'm calling you to spend hours with me so you only need minutes with men. Your strength as a leader will be proven this year. This may make you fearful or you might see it as an opportunity. I mean it as an opportunity, the Lord says. I'm giving you an opportunity to prove that you hear my voice, that you have the love, you've got the character, you've got the fruit, that you are followed by signs and waters because you lift up my name and your concern is about my name. You're going to have difficult times, stresses and pressures that are unique Another level beyond what you've had before. And instead of going into doubt, worry, and fear, and self-pity, you will say, oh, another opportunity to demonstrate that our God lives, and He provides, and He is there, and I can have perfect peace and confidence in Him every time. The Lord says it will demonstrate your commitment to your vision. The Lord says there will be things that will come along and challenge you, and challenge my vision that I've given you, and the Lord says, you will have opportunity to demonstrate your commitment to that no matter what. The Lord says, you're going to have opportunities to show people that you believe in them. You won't be looking at their outer appearance, at their behavior, at their performance. You'll be able to show them that love never fails, love believes all things, and that you believe in Christ in them. I'm going to give you opportunities to operate in the supernatural. And many of you are going, yay, yay, this is what I want. But you know what that means? That means I'm going to allow circumstances and situations where only supernatural intervention will do. That's when we have miracles, amen? The Lord says, I'll do miracles through you. This is going to be a supernatural year where suddenlies come in, but it's also opportunities where you need that supernatural intervention. And I'm good for it, the Lord says. If I allow you to experience the thing, I'll provide the supernatural power. If I allow you to need healing, I'll provide the healing. If I reveal a problem, I'll also reveal the answers. The Lord says, I want people to see Christ in you and through you. In you and through you. I will let you come to the end of your own resources so that you have to demonstrate, Jesus, I can't do this on my own. You do it through me. Amen. The Lord says, I'm calling you.
to more one-on-one -on -one time, to be one with me like I said in John 17. I'm calling you to the strength and the wisdom and the direction and the words of knowledge and words of wisdom that only I can give you, a supernatural life. The Lord says, I have called you. Many are called, but few are chosen. Not because I uh, <laughs> won't have you. It's because you haven't learned to say, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. I'm calling you to quit depending on what's worked before, what works for someone else, to spend that one-on-one -on -one time with me, to know that you're really one spirit with me, one spirit with me, 1 Corinthians 6, 17, to know that you are a partaker of a divine nature, that your old man is dead and all you need to do is bring your flesh to the cross and let me crucify it. As you bring your flesh to the cross, I will restore the rewards that you've lost, the blessings that you've lost, the years that you've lost. But I'm going to be calling you outside your comfort zone where you will need it. I'm calling you to walk in new discernment versus the appearances and what you can figure out. I'm calling you to live in now faith that will believe me no matter what the situations are, what the circumstances are, what people say. I'm calling you, calling you to be one with me. Let me demonstrate through you as I did through my son Jesus Christ. Let me demonstrate to you that I still love the world. I still want the Great Commission fulfilled before I return. I still want a bride without spot or wrinkle, that I have given you righteousness as a gift. I have given you a new nature. I have made all things new. You are a new creature, not half old and half new. And as many as of you that will be crucified with Christ, that it will be not just you alone, but me doing it through you. I'm calling you to now faith. No more tomorrow, next month, or next year, when I have the money, when I have the time. Be trained now. The Lord says, I'm calling you to commit just an hour or two of your time a week to boot camp, to nowfaith.tv training, to be restored with Restoration Prayer Ministry. I'm calling you to tear down strongholds. I've given you the verses. I've given you the resources. I've given you these opportunities. I've given you the book Transformation of the Inner Man. I've given you Crosswalk Talk where you can receive prophetic ministry and guidance even on the air. I've given you mentoring through Crosswalk Life. I'm calling you. Calling you. No more is it humility to say it must be somebody else. The Lord says, I'm calling you to now faith.